All right, guys, so in today's video, we are going to attempt to build a perpetual motion wheel. I have seven water bottles. So basically what it is, is we're gonna make like a base, we're gonna mount this wheel, and then we're gonna zip tie these water bottles to this wheel, you know, all the way around. And then the basic concept here is that if you put them all in the same direction around the wheel, and you spin the wheel, obviously on this side, the water is closer to the wheel, and on this side, the water is farther away from the wheel. So you spin the wheel this way, and as the wheel spins, the water on this side has more leverage over the water on this side, so it lifts this water up, and gravity pulls this water down, and then as long as you have everything equal and everything balanced out, the wheel should spin pretty much forever, or for a very, very long time. How I got to this point was, I ended up down this rabbit hole on YouTube like two days ago of this rabbit hole of perpetual motion and perpetual motion wheels and perpetual perpetual motion machines and what i found was i found quite a few videos of people building wheels like this and they demonstrated it and it worked and everything was fine so let's say i found 10 videos like that then for those 10 videos there would be 10 video 10 other videos about those videos saying how they're fake and why they don't work i don't know if this is if this really works or if it doesn't work or the physics behind it or I don't know any of that stuff. I figured the easiest thing for me to do is <laughs> to just build one and, and see if it works. But first, I'm gonna show you, since I have this bicycle wheel here, I'm gonna show you a, a cool little science trick. I have a rope tied to the ceiling. What you do is you just take this. So now the wheel can just hang from the ceiling. If we support the one side with our hand, and then we spin the wheel really fast, it'll just hang there with centrifugal force. How cool is that? So there you go. There's your daily dose of centrifugal force. I actually wanted to show that in a, in a video before, but I didn't have the right wheel. All right, so let's start building this wheel. All right, so the first things first. For this to, at least in my mind, for this to have any type of chance of working, all the weight has to be, has to be you know, as exact as possible. I've done a couple of things. I, I'll have the exact same water bottle that I'll be using for each one, obviously. And I chose <clears throat> these smart water bottles because they're because they're longer. Whenever it's you know coming around, the water will be way farther away than having like a, a short bottle for the same amount of water, if you if you get what I'm saying. I filled up all these water bottles with the exact same amount and then I weighed them, and I'm just gonna show you here on the scale that they're all the exact same weight. Most of these are 499 grams, and some I think there's a couple that are 500. For some reason, I couldn't get all of them to be 500. I could get them pretty easily to be 499, but as soon as I try to get it to five, it would be 503, 505, and then I would dump some out and it would be right back at 499. So I don't know if I don't know why, but 499 seemed to be the, the magic number. That one's 499. 498. I don't remember a 498 one. Okay, 498. 499. 498. 499. 500. And 500. So the the biggest distance in weight or the biggest. Uh, Difference in weight that we have is two grams. So I don't think that's enough to make any amount of difference. All right, so let's get these water bottles zip tied to this wheel. I have, well, not really. I was gonna say I, I cheated a little bit. I haven't really cheated. I've just kind of kind of pre-measured the wheel and I have little, little dots around the wheel to make sure all the bottles are evenly spaced. Just match up the cap of each bottle with the, with the dot on the wheel. Keep on adding them. That was kind of a stupid thing to clarify. Of course we're going to keep on adding them. These all look pretty even to me. They all look pretty good. So what I'm going to do is gently set this off to the side. And then we're going to build the base. We need a big two by four, a little piece of wood. And then these three pieces of wood. All right, so this is how the stand is going to work. We have one long piece, we have three short pieces, then we have this piece. So, I'm just going to take this long piece, screw it to this, and then that'll be like this. And then these two pieces will both go here. And then this has a hole drilled in it 
for the axle of the bicycle rim, and then this is just going to be screwed right here. So then now, since I have this and these, it won't go to side to side and it won't fall forward. So let's start by screwing these together. Alright, so here we go. So we got this. Now let's just do these. Really? Well, that got screwed to the table. So I guess we're gonna have to take a different approach. So let's take, let's take this approach. I guess it's better than nothing. It's actually pretty, pretty strong. I know, I know that my woodworking skills are completely off the charts. Refrain from all your comments, or all your compliments, I should say. All right, I think two screws should do it. All right, I guess it's time to put the wheel on. I wanna make sure this thing's really nice and tight. Now let's go ahead and cut these. And it seems like it's already trying to turn. All right, let me zoom the camera out and we're gonna find out together if it works. All right, all the bottles are straight. All right, let's spin this thing and see what happens. Three, two, one. Oh. Wait a minute, is it supposed to go the other way? No. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't work. Why doesn't this work? That seems like it would work. Are they not straight? Come on, just spin. You know you want to. I wonder if there's too much weight. Like, I wonder if each bot, I mean, that shouldn't make a difference. Because if they're all exactly the same, then it shouldn't matter, right? I'm gonna take this off of here. I'm gonna take all the bottles off, and then all the bottles now, they have 500 milliliters. So I'm gonna drop that down to 250 milliliters and see if that makes a difference because Honestly, I don't have an explanation. I'm just gonna try something. I don't have a logical reason of why 250 would work and 500 wouldn't, but let's give it a shot. All right, so I saved you guys all of the time and energy of, of watching me dump water out of water bottles and then put it back in and dump it back out and put it back in for like 30 minutes to get all of these down to 250 grams. All of these are exactly 250 grams, grams, except for this one, which is 251, because for whatever reason, I could only get it to be 249 or 251. I, after like 10 minutes, I couldn't get it to be exactly 250, so we're stuck with 251. We'll just have to deal with it. I really don't think the extra gram is gonna make too much of a difference. So let's just go ahead and zip tie all of these back onto the wheel. Round two. You know what? This already feels like it's gonna work. Oh, look at that, it's already, it's already trying to work. All right. Are you kidding me? Really? Come on. <sighs> Obviously, this wheel isn't working. I don't know why. Is it because maybe the there's something about physics that I don't understand because I'm just not that smart. You know what? Is it just me? Or does this bottle look like it needs to go back? Does the rest of these look... They look like they're evenly spaced, except for this one looks like it needs to go to like here. Huh. Let's cut this bottle off and let's move it back. All right, what do you guys think? Probably all you got here. Alright, so let's... <laughs> Why is that the story of my life? You know, let's do this. Let's just lay the wheel down. Let's go... Is it really spinning right now?
What is happening? Alright, now let's sit it up. Let's try that. Now let's try. Why is it going the other way? It's not supposed to go that way. Why do you want to go this way? Yeah, this doesn't. Why doesn't this? Why doesn't this work? Does this not make? Does this make sense to anybody else, or does? Or do I just look crazy? In here with a bicycle with a water bottle zip tied to it, because I'm feeling kind of insane. Maybe it just needs a, needs a good start. Maybe you just gotta go real fast. <laughs> that doesn't work at all. <laughs> Although it sounds kinda cool. really fast. So what happens when we go the other way? Man, this really sucks. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess it doesn't work. Alright, so due to a bunch of physics mumbo jumbo that I don't really know how to understand. I guess a perpetual motion wheel will not work. And I guess those people that were making all those videos about the videos with them in them, th explaining how they wouldn't work, I guess they were right. Thank you for watching, even though it was a big fail and <laughs> didn't even almost work. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.